fish. Those were but she'd days. scream at the top of her lungs, be yourself. And that was something that was so funny to me because I didn't know any other self to be. The one little element that I was hiding so much was this really insignificant thing that is called sexuality. And at the end of the day, it actually seems so significant to the rest of the straight world. But it's so funny in the gay community because for a lot of us, there's such a period of time that we're hiding so much of that. Mm. So when we finally get the opportunity and the fortune to be able to come out of the closet, we have a huge practice at being authentically ourselves. And it's something that's so special to us because it is such an obstacle, yet such a lesson we get to live with. And I don't know if the heterosexual community gets to be so in touch with their authentic self the way we got the chance to. Yeah. And what she always told me was, if you are truly yourself, people will gravitate towards the authenticity of the energy you're providing. I agree. And I cannot say more so that my life is not a living example of that. And I'm also so fortunate that I feel psychologically safe to be able to do that. I feel safe in the community I am, being Atlanta, having mm. the friends that I do, the open-minded family that I do. It has been proven every single day that my, my authenticity has brought real love to my life. Mm. 